Well, another assignment for Stringer. <laughs> they didn't sell. Somebody laughing in the background. Sunset and Larrabee right there. I, they're tearing it down. Uh, when I arrived on the scene, unfortunately or fortunately, um, there was another person from Stringer arriving as well. He had a cell phone on. and You know, I asked, hey, from Stringer? He said, yeah, I'm from Stringer. And uh, we began talking a little bit. Um, he was like all over it, like a cheap suit. And so I asked him questions. I go, well, you know, uh, well, you know what do you do? You look like you're a press person. And he goes, I'm a camera operator. And I'm going, what? He, for a certain news, I'm not going to say the station. But I go, oh, boy. He goes, yeah, times are tough. I'm only working three days a week. So I said, oh, wow. And I, you know, I phoned them, you know, I was in the entertainment industry and I have been working myself. And I said, well, what can I do? Do you have any pointers since you're a pro? So he gave me some really good pointers. And uh, in a way, I'm happy that maybe I ran into them, even though he's a competition, because he was able to really help me out with um, thinking simply of what I needed and uh, what I was doing. And I, I definitely wasn't doing what he was saying. I wasn't holding the shot long enough where um, I thought 10 seconds was good. He told me like 20 seconds and not to pan. But you can probably, if you're doing 20 seconds, you can pan at the end and then reverse it for four seconds. There's some other stuff he told me too, which was really helpful. So here's the footage of the Viper Room. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be in existence in the future. So, here you go.